Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And now that the 2017 NFL season has ended, it's never too early to start prepping for the 2018 season. That's what we'll do in this offseason outlook video. It'll almost be like a guide to the offseason leading up to the 2018 NFL draft. One of the NFL's oldest and most proud franchises is coming off its worst season since 2003 when they went 4-12. Since then, the Giants have won two Super Bowls and only have suffered through three losing seasons. This year, we saw a lot of things that contributed to the 3-13 campaign. The Giants' offense could never really get on track, which was something that started very early in the preseason. The offensive line was an issue in the beginning part of the season, but got much better in the latter part. There was also a host of injuries to key playmakers such as Odell Beckham Jr., Brandon Marshall, and Weston Richburg, just to name a few. Second-year head coach Ben McAdoo was relieved of his duties, as well as longtime general manager Jerry Reese. And if there was a positive side to this season, it lies in the fact that the defensive line played strong throughout and toward the end of the season, the running game started to surface in the Meadowlands. The Giants have a lot of free agents to take care of this offseason, and here's a look at some of the interesting names on that list. To me, the offensive line got better as the season went on, and I think guys like DJ Fluker, Justin Pugh, Weston Richburg, and Brett Jones are high-priority types. O-line play is all about continuity, and that group did some good things this season despite the national narrative. Also, defensively, Devin Kennard and Kerry Wynn are really good, solid team guys to have on your roster. Some of the other intriguing free agents are guys that I believe that could see a return to Big Blue. Geno Smith played lights out during training camp, which earned him the backup job. He showed enough during his one start on the season to at least warrant a return to the roster or possibly seek out a starting opportunity elsewhere. In my opinion, he can be a starter in his league once again. Cornerback Brandon Dixon was a late add to the roster but played well enough in the last three games to warrant a contract. Same can be said for a guy like Orleans Darkwa, who seemed to provide some stability to the Giants' ground game. Offensive lineman Brett Jones is a versatile interior lineman that's capable of playing either guard or center. This year, when he became the starter on the inside, you saw the run game begin to improve. Jones was able to carry over what he did in training camp into the regular season and looks to be a high-priority free agent for the Giants this offseason. The interior defensive line duo of Damon Harrison and rookie Delvin Thomason were outstanding this year. Snacks was an all-pro player last season and didn't have a drop-off in the 2017 campaign, finishing with 55 tackles. Thomason, the rookie out of Alabama, finished with 30 stops on the season, doing a stellar job versus the run all year long. Now, these are two cornerstone pieces to work with up front defensively for new general manager Dave Gettleman. Here's an early look at some of the Giants' pre-free agency draft needs. I still feel like the Giants need a home run hitter in the backfield. Right now, they have a collection of good backs on the roster, but no true threat at the position. Cornerback could use another high-quality ball hawk with Eli Apple situation and also the age of Dominic rogers Cromartie bringing some uncertainty on the outside. And it also may be time to select a quarterback high in the draft, as there are some quality ones to choose from in this draft class. Or do the Giants roll with the current depth chart that they have for this season? I think adding talent and depth at offensive tackle could supersede all of these options depending how free agency goes. With the new GM in place and David Gettleman, he has a lot to get in order as Big Blue heads into the offseason. The good news is that this is a team that was in the playoffs a year ago, dealt with some injuries in 2017, and still has a lot of those 2016 pieces on this roster. In my opinion, this is not a rebuild situation, but a reload and refocus type of a job for Gettleman. So that's it for this offseason outlook video. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and leave us a five star rating to the Football Game Plan podcast and also subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan. And finally, visit the link at the bottom of the screen to get a more in-depth offseason outlook from our football game plan analysts.